Welcome to Flash Tutorial 15. Put movie clips on stage using ActionScript 3. Going to start a new FLA. Select ActionScript 3. OK. Uh, let's open the properties panel and here the stage. I want to make my stage black and I want to make a movie clip so let's call this layer star S-T-A-R and over here there's a rectangle tool click the corner of it right there it may be the oval tool right now click the corner of it and select the poly star open the properties panel click options and here select star uh, I want a five-sided star. You can make yours whatever you want. And this is the size of the point. Click OK. And just make a little star. There's my star. I don't like red, so I'm going to highlight that. And come down here and make it white. There's my star. And make sure I have no stroke. While it's all fuzzy, I'm going to right click on it and down here convert it to a symbol. Make sure movie clip is selected and call it star capital S T A R underscore M C. Come down here, export for action script, click that and make sure if you have a registration that it's in the center and then click OK and then this little warning click OK now if that's highlighted delete it we don't need it because we're going to put it on the stage using the action script and open the library panel make sure there it is and there's the linkage name star underscore MC let's Rename this to AS Action Script because there are no movie clips on the screen. Select that first layer, first frame, open the Actions panel, and type, type, type this code. VAR, V A R, means we're, de we're declaring a variable. We're going to call it star1 underscore MC. Star1. 1. one. Okay, star1 underscore MC equals new star underscore MC. That's the movie clip we made called star underscore MC. This is making a, like an instance of it called star1 underscore MC. Open, close bracket, semicolon. This is what puts it on the stage. It's called add child, small a capital C, turns blue open bracket copy this star 1 MC paste it in close bracket semicolon and we gotta tell it some place to go with the X and Y coordinate so star 1 underscore MC period X X is a little X and it turns blue equals and I'm saying 300 semicolon so that's on the X axis I copied that changed the X to a Y so when we tell this to run, we should put a star somewhere around here on the stage. Control, test, movie, test. And there's my star. 300x, 300y. So let's, let's add a star. Copy that. Click here, couple enters. Paste it in. Let's create a new instance star 2 so make this a 2 make this a 2 make this a 2 make this a 2 and let's make the X a little bit further down 400 and let's bring this one a little bit up higher so we should have one down and one high control test movies there's our two stars and if two's good three's a lot better let's make three Copy this, a few enters, 
paste it in and star three 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 and we'll bring this way up into the left hand corner by making this around 50 and we'll make this around 50 so it should six I got actually 60 so it's going to be up here in the left hand corner so there's my three stars now let's bring them on the stage at random points so instead of having 300 in here type in this remove the 300 math period random capital M small r turns blue if it's spelt right open and close bracket asterisk that's the uppercase of the number eight the multiplication uh, I know my stage is 550 so we're going to make it from 0 to 525 so on my x-axis I'm going to generate a random number from 0 up to 525 let's copy this right click copy it paste it in here and my x I think is only 450 so let's make this 425 let's copy this right click copy come down here get rid of that and paste it in here let's go down here paste it in here go back up let's copy this one I can see some problems I gotta clean up you probably already figured them out let's copy this put it in here and put it in here so I have random numbers for my X's and random numbers for my Y's but I got a few extra semicolons here you probably don't have them I'm just deleting these extra semicolons that I cut and pasted inadvertently I got look a whole bunch here and now we're going to have three stars randomly on the stage. There they are. Let's um, now rotate some of them. Well, let's rotate them all. And let's go here and type, type, type this code. Star one. Underscore MC period rotation R O T A T I O N small r turns blue equals 60 degrees semicolon Let's copy that Go down to the next one Let's paste it in And let's make this one 45 degrees And let's go down the very bottom and paste it in here and let's make this 70 degrees and if you got five points to your star the once you go beyond 75 degrees you're, you're right back to where you were so you don't want anything bigger than 75 up here this should be star two movie clip and this should be star three movie clip and now they should be all rotating on a different angle those two are pretty close but they are they are different and so is that one and you could do the same thing here you could just put in copy this lot information here this random stuff right click copy that put it in here paste it in and because the most I want is say 75 degrees say oh, I put that multiplication in that asterisk shift asterisk and 75 degrees copy that and paste it on the other two paste it in don't want extra semicolons and paste it in test it out and this time we'll have random positioning and random rotations there we go 
Now, sometimes when you do this, you'll get a star, um, only uh, part of it's showing. And if that's a problem for you, on the locations for your X and Ys, make them uh, 25 smaller than what your stage size is now. For example, this would be, make this 500 and make this 400, and then they won't hit the edges of the stage. There's going to be a more information on on these uh, putting uh, movie clips on stage. I'm going to have another tutorial. It'll be Flash CS6 Tutorial 25. It's called Put Movie Clips on Stage Using Arrays. So if you want to, it's even better. You don't have to list all the movie clips. You just make one and you just call it up into the arrays and then you call the arrays up on the stage at random. So if you're going to do that, make sure you save your FLA. This is what that follow-up uh, tutorial is going to look like. When you test it, the stars will appear one at a time every half second. They're different sizes and they're different brightness. Hope you learned something from this tutorial and I hope you use what you learn.